Welcome back to our channel, where learning meets excitement. Let us continue studying the Indian constitution in detail with articles on note. Like any other modern state, India has two kinds of people, citizens and aliens. Citizens are full members of the Indian state and owe allegiance to it. They enjoy all civil and political rights. Aliens, on the other hand, are the citizens of some other state, and hence, do not enjoy all the civil and political rights. The constitution deals with the citizenship from Articles 5 to 11 under Part 2. However, it contains neither any permanent nor any elaborate provisions in this regard. It only identifies the persons who became citizens of India at its commencement that is on January 26, 1950. According to the constitution, the following four categories of persons became the citizens of India, at its commencement that is on January 26, 1950. 1. A person who had his domicile in India and also fulfilled any one of the three conditions as follows. If he was born in India, or. If either of his parents was born in India, or. If he has been ordinarily resident in India for five years immediately before the commencement of the constitution, became a citizen of India. 2. A person who migrated to India from Pakistan became an Indian citizen, if he or either of his parents or. Any of his grandparents was born in undivided India and also fulfilled any one of the two conditions as follows. In case he migrated to India before July 19, 1948, he should have been ordinarily resident in India since the date of his migration, or. In case he migrated to India on or after July 19, 1948, he should have been registered as a citizen of India. But, a person could be so registered only if he had been resident in India for six months preceding the date of his application for registration. 3. A person who migrated to Pakistan from India after March 1, 1947, but later returned to India for resettlement could become an Indian citizen. For this, he had to be resident in India for six months preceding the date of his application for registration. 4. A person who, or any of whose parents or grandparents, was born in undivided India but who is ordinarily residing outside India, shall become an Indian citizen, if he has been registered as a citizen of India by the diplomatic or consular representative of India in the country of his residence, whether before or after the commencement of the constitution. Thus, this provision covers the overseas Indians who may want to acquire Indian citizenship. The constitution does not deal with the problem of acquisition or loss of citizenship, subsequent to its commencement. It empowers the parliament to enact a law to provide for such matters, and any other matter relating to citizenship. Accordingly, the Parliament has enacted the Citizenship Act, 1955, which has been amended from time to time. Articles related to citizenship at a glance. Article 5. Citizenship at the commencement of the Constitution. Article 6. Rights of citizenship of certain persons who have migrated to India from Pakistan. Article 7. Rights of citizenship of certain migrants to Pakistan. Article 8. Rights of citizenship of certain persons of Indian origin residing outside India. Article 9. Persons voluntarily acquiring citizenship of a foreign state not to be citizens. Article 10. Continuance of the rights of citizenship. Article 11. Parliament to regulate the right of citizenship by law. Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.